All right, you guys ready to do the uh, short E word families for this week? So here they are. We have the et, et word family, ed, ed word family, and the e, o word family. And I chose to include this one um, because it does have that double L and it is an important word family to know. Um, Remember that E is for eh, eh, elephants. We want to remember that as our clue to what vowel that we're saying because the vowels can get kind of tricky. They're those open mouth sounds and it can be hard sometimes to feel it out. So we want to match the sound with that picture, eh, eh, elephant. E is one of the hardest too, I find with a lot of kids struggle with the E vowel. All right, so let's start with up here with the Edward family. This is a picture of a net. So let's pull that down. N, eh, t. N et n that's n e -e elephant net t cross your t net get g g g goat e t g e t g g goat remember your pictures wet w e t w w web w e -e elephant t t turtle wet um let let me do it o e T, let, o, e, t, l, l, lion, e, e, elephant, t, t, turtle, let, um, pet, pet, p, e, t, p, 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 e, e, elephant, t, t, turtle, pet, set, set, are you set? Yes, s, e, t, set, met, right? I have met him before. Met, m, e, t, met. Jet, j, e, t, jet. Good job, j, j, j. Be careful with your j, j, j and your g, 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 because you guys, sometimes we confuse those, right? Because they sound, their names are so, so similar. So we want to make sure we have g, g, goat. And j j j j j jacks. Okay, uh, that's how the, the picture in the the alphabet card that we use the picture of the little metal jacks. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the Edward family. This is a sled. Now, when we say sled, you say the first sound sl sl. Oh, I hear two sounds, and if I watch my mouth sl, my mouth is changing with that sound. So s and o is two sounds together. S, s, and o, lion. L, s, s, l. So I need to put that down. S, o, e, e, elephant, and d, d, dog. Sled, all right, well sled. And then bed, b, b, e, d, bed. B, e, d, good, bed. And then we also have fed. Ed, fed, f, 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 fish, e, e, elephant, d, d, dog, fed, led, o, ed, led, he led me down the path, o, ed, led, and the last one is shed, sh, ed, sh, sh, the sh sound for sh, sh, sheep, that's s, h, right, s, h, sh, Eh, eh, elephant, the shed. All right, let's move on to the last word family of this week, this L word family. There's quite a few words in this list and this is a very small little piece of uh, material for me to work on. So I'm gonna kind of squeeze them in. All right, so the first one is bell. So we have a b, e, o. Now the two L's beside each other, they don't say l, l, right? You don't say bell, bell. You just say bell, b, e, o. So even though it's two L's beside each other, they're only saying the o sound one time, okay? So you can think about that when you see other letters standing beside each other too, like S and S or P and P. It's not p, p, it's p. It's not s, s, it's s. It's not t, t, it's t, like in little. There's two T's. So you be, need to be thinking about those things when you see two of the same letters standing beside each other. They're not saying two sounds, they're saying one sound together. Okay, so first we do bell. B, E, O, B, B, Bear, B, E, O, double L. Fell, oh, I fell, F, E, O. All right, now 
now we can sell s e o s e o also tell t e o t e o well w e e o w w web w e e o well shell shh there it is again do you remember the shh sound shh sh, sheep s h sh e eh. o oh, shell ooh smell smell sm 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 that's s m sm sm together sm e eh. Oh, and the last one for this group uh, that I've included is spell. Spell. Sp. <gasps> Another one. Sp. 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 S and p together. S P. Sp. E eh, E eh, elephant. Spell. So practice these words for the week, uh, if you if you're able, and you can just pull them down your body. As long as you're getting those sounds and you're thinking about what letters go, that's great. And if you are writing them down, you can write them down on paper. You can write them down on your pans full of flour, right? You can write them down with a stick and a sand. However you want to do this, I just, uh, uh, I encourage you to do what works for you and what's fun, okay? All right, we'll talk soon.